Hey folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN, and we're going to see what went wrong. If you'll remember, I was looking to be a seller here at 40700 in the Dow Jones. We hit that this morning and went through it like it didn't even exist. That's why you have your stop about 100 points above that, so you kept kept your loss done but what I was assuming was going back here to 2022 you're seeing the same pattern it's basically the same pattern I'm going to draw it here right here that's it right there and all I did was move it over like this but you know now this is well they're pretty close but you can see they're close but not perfect so I'm going to leave that one over here and then I'm just going to draw in a new one because we are we've went above where I thought it could go but remember now folks we are in a run here of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're in the eighth week of a run, and ninth day's up, eight weeks up. So not unusual for it extending, and it has. Now, we have not made new highs in the Dow Jones. The Russell has made new highs. We'll cover that in just a moment on the other part of the show. The S&P has not made new highs, so it's basically the Dow Jones and the Russell. And But anyway, this is what we're looking at right here. So I believe this is a, some type. I don't think this is a breakout move. But the only thing that I could see that I did wrong, well, I didn't do anything wrong. I just had a bad trade. That's not a big deal. But from the low here, you'll see that the 1.618 number comes in here uh, a whole lot higher so you don't want to uh, you don't want to get involved with that because it could easily get up to that level uh, right there so that's why you got to be out of it a lot of emotionalism as there is always in the market but even more so today uh, after the uh, the convention I guess is what they're blaming it on which I didn't watch but uh, evidently it must have been uh, very very bullish now we're going to take a look here I only got another section here but this is the one that started it all folks last night this is the Russell get the daily up here there's where the explosion occurred uh, right here now what you don't see is what happened in between that time and I'll put that up here you'll see we had a after the news came out see that there was some type of supposedly bearish news and then we went through these highs and then away that it went by completing this here in the uh, Russell that does complete it and it is at a 1.618 we'll be right back 877 